This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hold on to that. We, we're live, so yeah, just one second. Hi, this is After Hours. I'm Cami Chaos, Strange of Live. Dr. Normal, over there. Yes, it's me. I uh, forgot to uh, adjust the camera. Mm. Are, we, are we doing that thing where I introduce the guests? In After Hours? Yeah. Yeah, but get to it, because I have a special thing I'm going to do. Okie dokie, let me see here. <laughs> I don't need to wear the hat, do I? I sure, I don't care, whatever. You know, it's all good, baby. Yeah. Oh, Brett says hat. Hat, 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 hat. I'm, I'm going to... Base. I'm going to do an explosion if you need Don't know. No balloons this week. I don't care if Scott wants to well, see we them will. or not. No balloons. No, they, they want to. They want you know, No, by they you mean Scott. He wants to see them. You should have a Bluetooth headset in just so you yeah. can fit in. <laughs> <laughs> nice Bluetooth idea. headsets, they're awesome. <laughs> you need some sideburns. Why don't you, why don't you introduce so, the color over here? Over, over on the couch is uh, Portland Food Carts and Whiffies. Yay! I'm hungry, or guys. Brett and Greg. That's right. Yeah, See, I'm not trained on this all right. at all. So, this is important. Okay, I need Greg to remember not to Brett. knock the. If it depends on how you look at it. If you look at it like this is Friday, then almost a week ago, Friday. if you look at it this like maybe it's we did this on a Monday so that Greg could be here. Um, no, it's Friday. Yesterday. Anyway, very recently we had the Portland Pie Off. I was going to go. My pie was not ready in time, so I didn't. But I have a judge on my couch. You see? Can you pass this over to Greg? (laughs) I want you to eat my pie. Tell me what you think. Whoa. Whoa. This would be good time. After hours. Greg Greg was one of the judges for the Portland Pie Off. (laughs) No pressure. This is a lemonade pie with graham cracker. No pressure. Lemonade. That sucks. See if he takes a second. Oh, he's. he's was this going to be in the? Was second. this going to be in the cream pie? Yes. Mm. I had custards and mashup, so mm. I would not have judged your pie. I okay. had a hard time there deciding if it was going to be in cream it. pie <laughs> or in mashup because it was like it's an odd pie, so I couldn't decide if it should be a cream pie or a mashup pie because mashup is just kind of like any weird combination. Mashup would have been tough this year. Yeah. Mashup. The, the mashup winner was insane. Yeah. Was that the? That was the cucumber, cucumber mm-hmm. honey. Cucumber, honeydew, white chocolate, freezer pie. Icebox pie. Crazy shit. Mm. And apparently really good. Sounds scary. Apparently was very good. It was yeah, so delicious. You know, cucumber, you know. I like cucumber. Your crust is really good, Cucumber's though. Cucumber's nuts. Like, wait, you liked my crust? Yeah, it's very Thank good. Thank you so much. It's delicious. Oh, I made I made two. One of them turned out. that That's the one I think turned out well. The other one I wasn't too happy with. Did, did Mike eat the rest of the other one? Oh, no, I didn't actually put the filling in the second pie. I'm saving it. I'm thinking about making um, Zoe's pie from last year in it because she made a graham cracker crust and then a s'mores pie. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put that one in it. Zoe I, was selling lemonade today. Was she? Yeah, that's where mm. I went and got the lemonade earlier. Oh. I had the best uh, crust I've ever had, um, actually, in, in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't visited, sound right. I, had the I would like to know that, that Greg is no, just, like eating the whole we pie. We visited uh, my, my wife's... Um, <laughs> Uh, relatives. So is it balloons or explosions? Boom. We, we visited my wife's relatives oh, in Arkansas. Right. And if explosions are good, I don't know. If, I think it was a coconut was like cream a, pie, and it was oh. like hickory nuts, crushed hickory nuts as the crust. If you've never had a hickory nut, it's similar. I would say it's similar to a walnut. Mm-hmm. Um, but, oh, my God, I hate walnuts, and I love hickory nuts. Um, they're just such great flavor. Mm-hmm. And um, so... Um, that's my new favorite pie crust. I want to say that one of the one of the judges is like scraping my pie plate. I'm gonna. It's empty. I'm gonna choose Maybe. to assume that my pie was really good and not just that he was very hungry. That was delicious. We don't, the NBC don't guys come back and do a close-up. The NBC guys do not get pie. However, they went to dinner at if one of my stayed, favorite restaurants. Pie. Yes. One of my absolute favorite yeah. restaurants oh as well. Oh my god! Yeah, Gino's. I don't. I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. No. Nope. What's your favorite thing there? Uh, either the salad or the Mama Nona's pasta. Yeah. Mama Jeans. Have you no, been? Mama Jeans. Is what have you been is. to? Have you been? To, to Gino's? Gino's? Yeah. Oh, 10, 15 times. What's your yeah. favorite thing? Uh, 
Um, I'd have to say it's the Mama Jeans, but um, they, whenever anybody asks for a great steakhouse, you go to Gino's. I'd say go to Gino's. Even though it's not a steakhouse. It's not a steakhouse, but they have, um, I've had the porterhouse there, I've had the filet there. I've had the porterhouse there more than twice, and it's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Caesar salad. Beautiful like Caesar there. Just amazing. The Caesar is everything they're, they they're do. They're Chipino. Yeah. Um, you know the clams what? Are, I can't eat clams, but the clams it's are delicious. So good. I'm, I'm looking here on the sponsor list. And I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm <laughs> really hungry. Gino. Maybe you should take me to Gino's the, uh, sometimes. <laughs> On the right. approved uh, sponsors bleep, of this show. We can bleep, 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 bleep them bleep, out. Bleep, bleep, bleep. That'll be awesome. <laughs> bleep, we like bleep. Gino's. <laughs> Where are we talking about? And everyone will be like, <laughs> use some cash. <laughs> my, my Twitter feed will blow up with, what were you guys talking about? None of your business. Yeah, it's a secret. Mess off. Oh, we do that all the time here to bleep stuff out. Mm-hmm. You know what? We usually just bleep things when they're not nice. What happened to my hair? <laughs> I don't like the monitor. I don't want. I was gonna say, or you're Jason Glassby, and you're doing the tech edition. <laughs> I thought I told Jason that we couldn't have potty words during the tech episode. I love him. This is after hours. You guys him. can cuss all you want to. Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah fuck yeah, uh, babies. F F S. Except F. Except the F word. Oh no, there's other words you can't say, but the F word isn't that. I'm oh, sorry. can we See, really not say the, the F word? This side guys would have, yeah. NBC guys would have loved. You know, it's like, oh, now we use the F word. Do you <laughs> yeah. guys do that on NBC? <laughs> you can't use. Well, it's cable. Cause can we talk about A to M? It may. It might uh, make this not be on cable access if we use no. the F word. Is that it? I don't know. No. I think you can drop. You're, the, you're asking me about there are F so uh, you can, you can drop F bombs after ten o'clock on. So for cable those. Access. Woohoo! It, for, I know ours airs after 10 o'clock. Yeah. So. so for those of you not understand, we had guests earlier during the tech mm. edition from <laughs> NBC Nightly News. Yeah, the studio where, audience. Um, we had NBC in Nightly In the studio News. audience. Uh, NBC Nightly News is in Portland this week mm-hmm. to do a segment about food carts. So possibly by the time you watch this episode on Friday, <laughs> that segment will have already aired. Uh, I'll have it recorded and will be selling DVDs um, <laughs> at Wiffy's. on Saturday at Wiffy's, at Wiffy's. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, for ten dollars a piece. Um, so wait for thirteen dollars, you get a pie and a DVD, or right. fourteen depending on if it's savory, I guess. But, but that's where it's a I, I want to give some press. Oh wait, you know, how much? Talking about NBC, but nobody had any. How much are the signature pies going for? Five dollars. So five dollars for signature, four dollars for savory, three dollars for fruit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so talk about signature pies. Is yeah. it sad that I know the cost for your entire menu? No. Okay. I'm just. It's, it's simple. I kept it. It simple. is really simple. Uh, I I know when I go there, I'm like, oh, the pie is going to be this much. It's all good. Yeah. Mmm. Those briskets. Mm. Do you put peas in your chicken pot pie? Yes. Is like there any peas. way that I could convince you not to put peas in your chicken pot pie? If you send me a direct message, I will have someone take the peas out of one for you. <laughs> that's, the kind of, recipe. that's the kind of See, customer service I roll. Yeah. Send me a recipe. I hope you're not joking, because I totally will. I'm not joking. Send me a direct message. I will. <laughs> someone at work will hate me for it, but I'll be like, <laughs> Look, take, Tammy Chaos please, is coming by. She's a freaking prima donna. <laughs> take the peas out of her pie. All right. So I want to tell you about a food cart I visited today. Okay. So opening day of a new food cart downtown called Side Cart. Side. Oh, uh, I like it already. Brunch box I like it Ryan. already. Brunch box Ryan, um, <clears throat> who rocks the sideburns just as moi, and uh, he. No, um, no, no, no one rocks the sideburns no, quite like you do. But uh, they opened Side Cart, and it is exactly what you think it is. It's sides. Mm. Mm. Any kind of sides you can imagine they already have on their menu. Mac and cheese, baked mm. beans, mm. Um, uh, Is it like the sweet fried baked okra. Beans like the s- no, it's like baked beans, oh, like the brown good. ones. I hate the sweet um, baked beans. I and love fried okra. They actually oh. have on their menu a line for 3 or $5. It might be $5. You bring something edible, we'll deep fry it for you. <laughs> Well, um, I don't know these things, but and and the best part of it was I couldn't choose what I wanted, whether I wanted green beans or this or that. Green beans. I love I, they had a three, beans. Com- the audio three thing combo. Oh my gosh, where's the where's this one located? So side card is down on uh, Fifth and Star. Fifth it's right and next Stark? to right next to brunch box. It's right next to brunch box on the side. I'm going to take Wiffy's pies down there and have them deep fry them for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the pie down. Dude, could you cook it? Well, I, was, I, I have kohlrabi in my garden. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what a kohlrabi is? It's a yeah. big, yeah. giant purple thing that actually grows above the ground. I was going to just show up with one of them and go, uh, here. Cook it. 
deep fry it. Could you make like kohlrabi fries? Yeah, oh yeah, you can. Yeah, it's um, you know, I don't know. I mean, it would taste that would taste interesting. I, I have to can say now this kohlrabi has pie? this has nothing to do with your garden, but Good. when uh, when Brett and Anna got here, they brought me blackberry jelly, jam, jam or jelly? jelly, jelly, yeah, jelly. I'm so excited for breakfast tomorrow morning. Yes. Mm-hmm. I I showed my daughter. She was like, "What is that?" And I was like, "That's breakfast, babe." Yeah. I'm gonna have to stop and get Australian toaster things. Toaster strudel? No, the the toaster cakes, the corn cakes, whatever they're called. I have a I have a very important question for you guys. Do you have toasters? At home? Yes. Yeah. We have two. I don't. You have two toasters. You have no toaster. When's the last time you had a toaster, Greg? I can't this remember. This is important stuff, Dr. Norman. I honestly, I honestly can't remember the last time I had a toaster. I've used my oven for a toaster forever. So a couple days ago, we bought a toaster. It is the first toaster I think I've had. I, I yeah. tried to think back, and I, I thought maybe my roommate and I had a toaster when I was 19. No. In fact, I'm almost certain we did not. The last time I had a toaster, I lived with my mom and dad. I moved out of my mom and dad's house when I was 17 years old, and I have a toaster now. It is so exciting. I have toasted things every day. Is it a is it a new modern one that can support bagels and stuff? And yeah, yeah. There's a special button that you push when you're toasting a bagel, so it adjusts for the thickness. It's a nice. And the only thing we've toasted is bagels. <laughs> so I'm not. What's your favorite ba- bagel? My favorite bagel. Maker Kettleman's. Um, yeah, I'm not really, I wish I were more of a bagel. Kettleman's! I wish I were more of a bagel individual, but no, I kind of get my bagels at the store. What's your favorite kind of bagel? I like the whole wheat bagel, mm. or the sesame bagel. I'm okay with sesame. Yeah, you know, you know, no whole wheat? No. Whole wheat's better for you. I'm a big fan of the pe- pumpernickel lately, and then everything, because mm-hmm, it has the salt in it. I don't like the, pu- I don't like the everything. I like the everything. I don't like garlic big- on my, I don't like garlic on my bagels. Mm. So yeah, everything no, Everything is see, out of the question. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not a, I like, there's just something about like like blueberry, blueberry, but blueberry bagels are good. I don't like fruit bagels. No, I like uh, the blueberry bagel. Cinnamon raisin. <laughs> I don't like raisins. Reminds raisins me of being are a kid nasty. In New Jersey. Yeah. Raisins are nasty. I think raisins are an abomination. Speaking of cinnamon raisin. Yeah. <laughs> if you want like the best dessert food cart thing other than a Whiffy's pie. Careful, I was going to say. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Have you ever had a lemon pie from Whiffy's? Uh, you no. Know, you you've buy, never you had the lemon you pie from Whiffy's? You might ever have one. No, I know. <laughs> but no, you got to go to the grilled cheese grill uh-huh. and have his grilled cheese sandwich. The Jamie. Mm-hmm. The Jamie, right? Jamie. That is, it's... Um, I think it's the French word, but it's Jamie. Yeah, yeah it's... Uh, Jamie. Um, Jamie. Uh, Chris had one of these. Um, wizard but, boots? Uh, yeah, wizard boots. Hey, but, hey wizard um, boots. Hey buddy, it's, how you doing? It's the cinnamon raisin bread uh-huh. with Nutella, ban- um, banana, and marshmallow. Banana and marscapone cheese. I didn't want to eat it. Banana, grilled. marscapone, fine. Put the raisins on it. No, it's it's the bread. It's the cinnamon swirl. It doesn't have any cinnamon swirl. It's not raisins. Oh, oh, oh! I'm all over it then. Talk about raisins then. I thought it was cinnamon raisin bread. It was cinnamon swirl bread. No, it's very common to do cinnamon raisin bread. I don't. Yeah, but oh my gosh, it is decadent. So good. I have to ask. You've never had a lemon pie from Whiffy's? I have not had any of the sweet pies from Whiffy's. Really? I've only had the savory pies. Do you have no um, sugar? I got one that one night with you. Yeah, which one? Sweet pie. Whatever you were selling that person. We have Anna in the audience. That's who we're talking to, in case you are yeah, not yeah, aware. Yeah, we can uh, put you on camera there. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, he's going to do it anyway. <laughs> you just turn your arms so we can see one, a of the, mic there too. one of the sweetie dogs. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we have had a sweet pie. And I've had a sweet pie since. I think I had um, an Sorry. apple. Could have been. My daughter says pie, that you make yeah. the best apple pie ever. Thank now, she's much. only had a few apple pies in her day, but she That's contends that your apple pie is the best ever. Thank you very much, Anne. And that was from... Hopefully, think, children of our generation <laughs> will be raised on Whiffy's pies <laughs> instead of the McDonald's pies. She's never eaten at McDonald's. Good. So, only the Whiffy's. No. That's good. You know, that, yeah. that's a good point, because uh, as he turns the camera on himself, because the kids <laughs> like to see me, too. Um... Uh, you know when the kids? W- when you did the fried pocket pie thing, right? And in Whiffies, I was like, dude, that's like the McDonald's cherry pie. I've never yeah. had a lava McDonald's cherry pie. In my pie. Life. The lava yeah. pie. The lava pie. <laughs> yeah. And mine is not lava like inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the awesome thing you know, about McDonald's. I don't know how, but is your you crust is super pie? hot, but the yeah. inside is like this beautiful edible mm-hmm. temperature. But I 
want like to talk magic. magic. But I want to talk about that cherry pie okay. because when it first came out in the early McDonald's does whenever, not sponsor us, so they can kiss my ass. No, but I'm gonna diss it. Oh, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> okay, that's cool. the kids would be like, "I want the cherry pie. Give me that hot cherry pie, right?" And the first thing a kid did back then, you grab the cherry pie, you take your mouth, open it up as wide as possible, and just bite off a huge bite. And the hot lava filling <laughs> would fill your mouth, scorch, <laughs> melt, soft, and melt the roof of your mouth, and stick. And the beautiful thing is, McDonald's is a happy place for kids until you hit that cherry pie, mm. and suddenly it's tears, screaming, mm. emergency rooms. It was a beautiful thing. Hey, so, Dr. Normal, can I ask you a, a personal question? No. <laughs> Tough. Is it sunny where you are? Is like, I mean, is the sun in your eyes? Are you being blinded? Because, I mean, over here we've got like, um, I am six studio light. lights yes. that are really bright. Six <laughs> studio lights, like, and oh, none of us mind. are wearing sunglasses. <laughs> or let alone women's light. sunglasses. He's so bright that he's got to wear, wear shades. shades. That's true. That's right. Well, but you know, as an Eagle Scout, I would think that uh, always prepared. You would have been prepared for that lava pie. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't. This was. <laughs> this could almost be the Eagle Scout episode, except for Greg. No, this this was like I wasn't an Eagle kicked Scout out back of the then. Weevilos. I was like a little. Kid. <laughs> you were kicked out of the Weevilos. Oh my God, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, and no who one, the hell gets kicked no out one, of the No one who man. wasn't in the Weebelows <laughs> knows to say. Clearly, you were not Eagle Scout material. <laughs> you know, I just changed tribes or <laughs> troops, whatever troops. it was. So if we had Aaron Hockley here, it would be the... It would be the... Yes. We're only separated by a week. Yeah. Really. So that's a trifecta. You know what? If we had Aaron Hockley here with this group of people, we'd have to burn the show after. So <laughs> I would definitely be kicked off the lawn. <laughs> hey, you know, Aaron Hockley competed in the um, Pie Champ. Pie Champ. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. He was, yeah. He was, he was, he was, he was the one that was, he was actually initially responsible for talking most of the smack about. Yeah. 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 He, yeah. Was, he was the instigator. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. I didn't want to hug Hi, you Aaron. after Pie Champ because I was afraid you were going to puke on me. I regretted that mm-hmm. afterwards, too. You know, just saying. Yeah, he was one of the only ones that I saw that was kind of green. He did not look well. Um, no, you know, Chris, Chris Tom looked pretty green. At the no, end. He, he looked no, okay. Not, not he, quite as green as Hockley, but yeah. You know, it, Chris Tom ex- totally accepted that he was going to get sick. Yeah, yeah. Uncle um, Nate kind of was like, all right, I'm done. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. The, the following. He ate a full barbecue. Two weeks before. Yeah. Oh, right. I know. Yeah, yeah Uncle well, Nate went and had a huge dinner before he came to. Well, the guy who's the current pie champ, David, whatever his last name is. Is he on Twitter? No. That's why I'm. That's it's so why weird because no one knows him. Yeah. So he ate a Whiffy's <laughs> pie like an uh-huh. hour before he came and ate the nine that he ate. Shit. Yeah. Like an hour beforehand, he had digest. It was the- like in oh, the man. this part of the stomach that doesn't make for <laughs> delicious eating stuff. That's not good. I love your pies, especially as everyone may be aware. The lemon is my favorite. Mm. I bet I have one lemon. You like the lemon? In a way. The lemon is my favorite. You've never had the lemon. I can't believe you've never had you the know, lemon. You know, it's uh, it, it's one of those things. And no, uh, no, I, I don't really try lemon much, other than you raw have a lemon. lemon in your yeah, martini. But but when I, it's again, it's one of those childhood things mm-hmm. of that lemon flavor. That lemon stuff. That is put into things, whether it's pies or whether it's lemon cake or whether mm. it's not a flavor I liked when I was a kid, and so it's a memory I have. You know what? I need I to reintroduce Cheeto one time. I can't eat Cheetos. I need to reintroduce yeah. myself to the lemon. I think the lemon with these pies is a good way to go. Okay. Um, I'll try. I also it. like lemon jelly donuts. I don't even eat donuts. Oh, no, I'm not a donut yeah, person. No. I don't eat donuts at all. That's one I but would I like. Eat a lemon jelly. Even donut. if it was a voodoo donut, I wouldn't do a lemon. Does voodoo donut? Can yes. we take a minute and talk about donuts? Because yesterday at the pie-off, everyone was raving about some new donuts that I haven't had yet. Where? Talk about them. What Somewhere donuts? on Alberta, they uh-huh. fresh fry your donuts. I don't know what this place is called. I was about to called. say the word that Dr. Normal said I can't say. going to drop an F-bomb, but um, I don't know what it's called, but there's a place on Alberta. Hey, chat room people. Chat room people. Tell us. Twitter Audi. I can dial it up on Google it. Google, 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 Google it. Let us know it called? Alberta. on Alberta. It's donut shop Alberta fresh fried. Oh. Wowzers. Can I tell you guys something scary? What's that? Uh, Krispy Kreme? Yeah. I have never in my 32 oh, years of life had a Krispy Kreme donut. How do you spell donut? D-O-N-U-T. D-O... 
D O N U T or D O U G H N U T, depending on who you talk to. But probably D O N U T. I've never had a Krispy Kreme donut. Have you ever been to the Krispy Kreme? No. The donut itself is not. They freak the freaking shit out of me. Okay. S bombs? I can say the S word all I want to. Uh, I can diss McDonald's. They're big enough, but Krispy Kreme. Seriously, they're bad. Uh, Well, you can bleep it, but they freak me out. My thing with Krispy Kreme. Is they're like Starbucks, and that exactly. they know they know the whole thing is they know how to market themselves so exactly. well. I um, used to work out in Hillsboro, and that was where one of the first Krispy Kremes in Oregon opened up. Do you remember when oh it opened up gosh. and the freaking cluster? Uh, the traffic bomb. they had, they had cops crazy. directing traffic yes. from the freeway. They should have yeah. charged yeah. them. For yes. the cops yeah. that had to be out. There. So um, about six months after that, on my way to work one morning. Um, you know, because I worked an early shift, I I stopped by to pick up Krispy Kremes for the kids, mm-hmm. um, coworkers. I called yeah, them. Yeah, by kids. Teams. But um, and so I, I remember you know, there was nobody there. Krispy I walk Kreme, in I and you walk in and they have the whole production facility right there. So you're like, wow, cool. I can see how the, the wall of donuts are made. Then you you literally walk past the mugs, the coffee mugs mm-hmm. that they sell, and the T-shirts and all the little kitsch. And it's all perfectly made to like, you know, it's a really cool old school mug. Okay, it has a Krispy Kreme, but you know that Krispy Kreme logo is kind of old. I want to get one. one. And then mm-hmm. you have the wall of like juices and other stuff. Mm-hmm. And only then do you get to the donuts. And it was, I remember having that feeling like walking into Starbucks of like, I could spend 50 bucks here. And it black out and not realize I just spent 50 bucks. <laughs> and I get home and I have five mugs <laughs> and four pounds of coffee that I don't like and two dozen donuts. And you would feel good. And I'd feel good about it. Right. No. And then I, I would feel and dirty. Then, and so, your heart but with warmth and dirty. And love. My thing is the hot donuts. Like, they go. they <laughs> give me the worst stomach aches. Oh, those hot. So, so the donuts Man, are I maybe malted eat a donut barley. Like Can't once every six barley. months. I'm not a big That's donut what they eater. Donuts that I can't really malted barley. But malted barley goes into beer. I know. I don't drink beer either. I don't drink beer. Yeah. Why don't you drink beer? I don't know because I'm well, sometimes a loud mouth when I drink beer. <laughs> oh, I don't drink beer because I don't like it. <laughs> this show is way too fast for me. See, what? I'm still trying to search Although, for the album. I'm trying to donut. figure out. There so, was wait, this wait, wait, one stop, beer. Stop, wait, stop, no, stop, no. This stop. is important. No, this is important. No, this, this is one beer. Important. This is this one guy brought on the show? And yes. Broke no, the no, lip. no, 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 no. I don't know who's the one that you broke, but there was this one beer that, not the last time you were on the show, but the time before that, that you brought on the show yeah. that I actually enjoyed. Yep. And I am not a beer enjoyer. On my ESB. I need to remember. I need. Maybe I'll look at the show Do and see. Do you want to know what the donut? I, so yes. I did a Google search. Yes. There's Tonali's Donuts and Cream on Alberta. No, it's not that one. There's also a Staccato Gelato. No. No, they Alberta. make good We've donuts. Got one though. here in Selwood, and then Voodoo Donut. Did so, you get uh, any replies from the intertubes? Oh, okay. I'm gonna check. I know. I was just making hand signals. No, they I didn't know. have to know I was pointing. I'll, I'll look a little later. In the show. Right now, we're going to move on to something else. We have lots of things okay. to move on to. Thoughts? Anyone? I think the lemon pies are really good. <laughs> yeah, no, next time, how long? One more point for a pie I'm never going to have no. again. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> you told me there would be lemon pies again. I asked. I said, I was told there would never be lemon pies uh, okay. again, ever. And you said there will be someday. Mark my words. One thing I want these words down. So you know, I am difficult to deal with. I, I am no going to. My I will pie make I lemon, pies. lemon pies again. So when? I, I'm not sure when. <laughs> I have to go. Yes. Okay. I'll get some more. Uh, I'll get some more pies. So one of the things <laughs> I want we didn't talk about in the tech episode, but I really wanted to kind of go into, and and this is I see this as a really cool um, trend. Um, Greg is having a guest. Pie filler this week. And that's very good. Cool. Chef, um, a guest chef, and I think that is again. If we talk, you know, if we talk really about the artisanship mm-hmm. about food carts and what's making Portland so unique, is this type of uh, a scenario where you you're you're taking what. What is your thing, and then you're expanding it out to the community 
Um, you talked earlier about Caprioles. Um, mm-hmm. And you talked about specific restaurants and how Portland is, is a foodie town. Mm-hmm. Um, immediately, I think of Higgins. Mm-hmm. Higgins is Higgins. very famous yeah. for... And, and Higgins and South Park, 10, 12 years ago, became came on the scene very famous because they started using local ingredients. Mm-hmm. And only, you know, it, it, it was only in the last three years that really... Three or four years that really a lot of other larger restaurants started to think about that idea of sourcing within 50 miles or 60 miles and having guest chefs and stuff. Mm-hmm. So now let's talk about food cards. You know, he's grabbing, um, Greg's grabbing a local, I have a whole, you should I, talk have a about whole it. I have a whole list of guys not like signed up that can't wait to do a get guest in, pie. Get involved in this, yeah, guest pie thing, this signature pies. That's great. You know, I mean, reminds- I'd love to make a signature pie. And I think I could. Uh, I'll sign you up. I would like to make a signature pot pie with no, with no, no peas. Peace. No peas. It reminds me, though, of um, uh, tattoo studios. Not the yes. old sailor parlors yeah. with the flash on the wall, but <clears throat> the, the studios, the art studios, the <clears throat> tattoo art studios um, that have guest artists come in yep. and tattoo for maybe six months while they're doing a you know cross-country tour or whatever they're doing. It, it made me think of that immediately. I was thinking of that. I think that's very cool. I Speaking like of it. tattoos, well, um, but you know, I have to say, this is where I have to go. I and what were we? It was after the anti prom, which you didn't go to, and we were sitting. And who were we with that had never seen your tattoos? And we made Brett whip his shirt open at, at a table at what was? Where, where were we? No. I, no, where were we? I don't know. You do too know where right. we were. Because we I, I remember it, but I don't remember where we were at. Oh, I've never been there before, and I haven't been there since. But it wasn't we made an alibi. It, no, it wasn't alibi. It was some kind of swanky place with big velvet curtains. Yeah, it was mint. Mint. We were at yes. mint. Yes. And who? It's kind of a hoity-toity oh, place. Oh, Brian, mint. You whipped out your tattoos. <laughs> we made it. We were like, let, let us see your tattoos, dude. We want to see them. It's after hours. Yeah. It is after hours. It's we could see them after I hours. I wish I remembered sure. who we were with. That's a bad sign. I can't remember where we were, who we were with, but. Who we're God, now it's gonna I walked home that night. I know you did. I'm proud of you. That was a good thing to do. Mm-hmm. I would have walked home except for Dr. Norman was driving and he was fine. Yes. He's a very well behaved young man. Except that he's not young. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's used to me saying that. That's what you get when you know. So I really it. like your boots. Thank you. I like your shoes. Let's oh, instead of drink music, can we have shoe time? Sure. Okay. I'm just realizing that I came back to compelling subject matter on Strange of Life. <laughs> Tattoos yes. and boots. Tattoos, Tattoos and, and, boots. and boots. Next time I have to leave the room, I'm, this keyboard is wireless. I realize just take it with I you. should just, no, I should just give it to you and throw it in your lap and go, here, you switch the show. Oh, I could. <laughs> but it was fine. Yeah. No, it's shoe time. You because I have to... Is this the third or the fourth times. time you've been on the show? Third, third time. time. This is the third time that Brett's been on the show, and he's worn a different pair of shoes every oh, do time. Do I need music for this? And these are his fancy let me, let me orange and brown pumas. Here. Hang on. Yes. With some black. Let me find some shoes. So what's the point of the extra studying on the on the side? Pure fashion. Fashion? Stunning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's all I got. A lot of people ask about my shoes. Is are they are they climbing shoes or something like that? They don't no. look like climbing shoes. Maybe no, they, are. they look like racing How shoes. I'm, I'm a big fan of Velcro. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of yeah nothing. Yeah, I'm a big fan of. Velcro. I like zippers. And um, these are just funky. They're nice. I like yeah, them. They're nice. Don't take them off. Sorry. <laughs> I know. So, what started the shoe obsession, Brett? Because you have a lot of shoes for a boy. I don't have, I have a, a shoe lot. Do of you shoes. too? Um, it's uh, it, it is a fetish. It is, yeah. So um, we've got two boys with shoe fetishes. You can tell how show. you can tell how down I, I am by music. how many pairs of new shoes I'm going to buy. Because I'll buy like twenty pairs of shoes in a week when I'm having a bad week. Zappos oh, is we need my to learn more um, about this. is my dark side. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you buy I, shoes Tony, from them? One of my I favorite have, people yeah. ever, really. One of my heroes. Yeah. The CEO of Zappos. Oh, he's great. You know, I 
If I was again, a, I'm just let me check the. Uh, <laughs> are they on sponsor list? <laughs> if, you know what? They wouldn't even have to give us money. They could just give me shoes. Zappos, yes. big in social networking. Actually, not so not much big shoes. In strange love Boots. Boots. Sponsorship. Yeah, if they wanted to give us some. Uh, if I had my phone right now, I would tweet Kenny to him. Shoes myself. Yeah, yeah, no. When you get a chance to tell him, hey, you uh, give Cam totally and some new boots. I could tweet to him right now that I'm plugging. Um, are you a VIP? No. Oh, my sister. Are you? Is. Yes, my sister is. You guys should tell him. There was I would honestly, take boots for honestly, there's a bo- there's like Zappos boxes stacked to the ceiling in my apartment. There was a my moment <laughs> in well, time. But she moved. Did she take her shoes with her? I don't know. I haven't been home since no. she started. There was okay. a moment in time um, on Twitter when um, the CEO of Zappos threw it out on Twitter and it's like, go to this URL right now, mm-hmm. sign up. And you'll be a VIP for life. Wow, and, and that hasn't changed li- since they did the Amazon deal? I don't know. I don't know about the Amazon deal. But Didn't VIP for life means free shipping. That's Whoa. nice. That's ridiculous. Yes. So how do you deal with the whole like brand size shoe difference? Because different brands, different Just send sizes. Them back. Yeah. Um, you can send them back with Zappos. I lucked out with Zappos. Yeah. Um, these I didn't get off Zappos. I got these off eBay. Um, mainly because this was, uh, they were out of, out of, um, out of everywhere. But... Um, I know what I like. Yeah. I know the brands that I like, and um, so I know that, for example, in in Puma, it's a thirteen yeah. or a fourteen, um, but in Nike, it's a twelve and a half or thirteen, and mm. in an Adidas, it's a thirteen. Yeah, yeah. Um, in dress shoes, it's a thirteen. I don't. I'll wear bigger socks in dress shoes if I need to, um, but um, I, I err on the on the larger side than on the smaller. Yeah. You know, so if I don't know, I'll go for That's the 13 normal. and the 12. That's normal. find this compelling, but I do. Mainly because, you know, I, I, I'm not one to send it back. I'd rather Mainly I'll, because I'll they're not a sponsor. No, no. But can I, show. am I allowed to talk about docs? <laughs> These are docs. They don't look uh, like docs, but they're yeah, girly no. docs. I recognize this, Souls. And what I learned when I bought the girly docs is that standard docs and girly docs, about half size different. I was going to say... Uh, Brett recognizes their souls because he's the shoe whisperer. <laughs> you know, you know who Do you should investigate. Like, as far as as far as comfy That's girly blue, boots, yeah. these are so yeah. comfortable. I never liked them. Well, yeah. No, I mean, I never liked Docs, but you really? should investigate you Johnny like Fluvog. I love those. Oh, I love the Fluvog. Oh, Fluvog. Yeah, no, no, no. I like the cloven, yes. cloven toe. And they have they have, the soles. Um, he does not care about shoes. We just they have they have angel souls. They mm-hmm. repel the devil. Have you ever known that about Fluvogs? The devil's not so horrible. But still, on the on the soles of Fluvogs, it says this: the sole of this shoe is endorsed by angels. It'll repel the devil. No, I did not see that. It's the funniest thing. Yeah. So why are you why are you not a why are you why are you a dock hater? I, is it the style was, of it or the comfort? No, ever since I was a ever since I was a young kid, and, and it was the th- yellow threading, and it was the, oh, the odd I'm not a big fan of the sole. yellow. I'm not a big fan of the and, yellow right, threading. That either. goes back 25, 30 years. So. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the yellow you threading. Know, when I was but the eight, comfort level is yeah. amazing, and, and I, the durability. I bought a pair. Greg is um, shaking when I was, his head. I bought a pair when I was working in restaurants, mm-hmm. and actually, I didn't find them that comfortable. I want to hear Greg's. I've never found them comfortable at all. Really? Yeah, really? I find there's I one like week of discomfort. All, oh, you're not a boot person. Mm-hmm. I find oh, one shoes, yeah. one week of discomfort, and then I'm happy for years until I have to replace mm-hmm. them. Yeah, no, Ten he's years a old. slip on. Yeah, and you can tell. Ten years old. <laughs> I've rocked them every day for ten years. That was I said it that nice. Okay. I nice think Doctor Norman would like us to stop. Why don't you? How's uh, Obama's health care plan going? There? Oh wait, no. There hey, let's was talk about John Mackey if we're going to talk about Obamacare. Oh my God! About Michael Vick. You didn't, you didn't see my tweet. Please. No, what did it say? Oh, you don't want to know. There was something we you were. There was something between. I, it might have been. I might have responded. Episode and after hours that we were going to talk about. What was it? Does anyone remember? <laughs> <laughs> I would be embarrassed. I, that, I would be embarrassed what? to be John Mackey. Who's John Mackey? The CEO of Whole Foods. Oh God. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. That guy just... Like, it's one thing to come out, That's you know, bullshit. and blatantly oh, piss off your market, and it's another thing to come out and blatantly piss off your market with something that's not well thought out and yeah. not thoughtful at all. Like, like if you read his thing, you can tell, like, he doesn't really understand the economics of healthcare at all. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, you know... Well, That's the part that really me You're going to make such off. a public announcement. Yeah. Right. At least... 
what was it in the New it. York Times? Yeah. Look, look, there's there's issues there. I mean, issue one is going up on Yahoo's <laughs> stock one. boards and <laughs> well, saying that, that uh, Wild Oats stock should be at a certain oh, time yeah, that's right. in the midst of trying to do a takeover. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little bit wrong. And then the, the new government's doing fame. antitrust. God. And then uh, them asking for... Um, all of New Season's uh, records as, not some, as part of the... Well, that was in talk. December, though, right? Well, yeah, it was before that. It was even. crap. Let's be honest. Whole Foods is not... They a have company. a track record. Yeah. And people should look into so it. Right? You know, they're That's not a That's either, our opinion. So let's stop talking about them. Yeah. Yeah, if you oh. like uh, Whole Foods, go Hey, go I have Whole a question. Foods. Maybe That's you great. guys... on It used to I be like 30-something... Like new Seasons. Or like high 20s or and early those guys 30s are on Twitter in Division. My what was that grocery store? That's right. It's closed now. I don't even that know. was Nature's. It was Nature's thing. Yeah, Nature's, Nature's got bought by Wild Oats. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that place has been closed. Yeah. There's Obama's headquarters. Is there? Is there any? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there, but is there the, anything in there now? No, we were just. Uh, I'll just keep that to myself. Uh, I have a question. Ooh, I know what you were thinking. <laughs> no, I haven't been on that little... street mm-hmm. in years. Uh, not in years, but I mean in, in a, a while. Yeah, ages. Um, I have a question. Dr. Now that Normal. we're talking politics and food, um, I like and this food. Kind of, uh, I don't like politics. KMC Dade. Uh, Said something about the Burgerville food cart. You know, in you the could say room. K McDade. I like KMC All McDade because right. that's what saying. it says. I'm just um, saying. I, I, I want to know if I ride my bike up to the Burgerville food cart, Don't will I get served? Oh. Don't go there. Oh. Yes. Does Burgerville have a food cart? Oh, they yes, do. They, they, they have the truck. truck. They have the yep. food truck. Um, hmm. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not. No comment. This is all the gossip. This is all the gossip sponsored? I know about that I need to be quiet. Yeah, Burgerville's not a sponsor. <laughs> Where is that cart? Is it like a cart? I know all the cart gossip. Gossip. I think no. I know all the cart gossip. No, no. So what? Yeah, they it's move around. Yeah. It's a mobile. And Bo cart. was asking them the other day. From Koi Fusion was asking them the other day, asking the city about how they're getting away with mm-hmm. where they were parking, and the city said, Burgerville has a food cart. <laughs> And you know, I saw, I recently saw Burger, hmm. the Burgerville truck in uh, Pioneer Cross Square mm-hmm. for Noon Tunes, which is their Tuesday and Thursday yeah. music mm-hmm. event. Mm-hmm. And now there are four traditional food carts, five traditional food carts in Pioneer Cross Square. Um, so yeah, you know, that'd be like inviting. Pizza Hut to come and cater. Yeah. Well, Square. I think it's a little bit different. Um, I think Burgerville has a different reputation. But it, you know what, though, Burgerville has a reputation as a sustainable fast food restaurant. Yes. Yeah. Not as a food cart. And yeah. so I have a question. I, I, mean, love, I, 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 I eat food their food cars. every day, so yeah. I'm, I'm always get me food, wrong. So. I like Burgerville. Yeah. Their They're shakes right are amazing. The from me. Their onions rings. I love the I, fried asparagus that they did for a while. I really do like Burgerville. Yeah. The new, the new way they're doing the onion rings, though, they need to change back. Like the dollar thirty nine for one onion ring is. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it felt way, usually, it felt way less like I was getting gouged when it was like six dollars for three onion rings than a dollar yeah. thirty nine. I, I always make Doctor Normal pick them up for me. So cause. I have a question. Yes, sir. And this is <laughs> this is kind of gets it says into you're this old, whole thing. That's why he calls you, sir. Um, okay. And I'm pointing my finger. It's the finger pointing that's really doing <laughs> I'm it. I'm telling you, those NBC guys were here. You, you see, I'll be on Meet the, meet the Press with my hat and my sunglasses pointing the finger at Chris Matthews. Trust me. Um, Across the table from the guy from the the world. The, the world is flat. The world is in, flat, in fact flat. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a is wrong. Right. Um, so my question is rivalry among the food carts. Oh, good question. I mean, you know, we've got all these food carts going on. Does it get a little nasty out there, or is it collegial? You know, what's what's the story? My experience has Go. been my experience has been that it's mostly collegial. Mm-hmm. Collegial. I don't. Know. You're not even drinking. You can't mispronounce blah, 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 things. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but th- I mean, there are there are a couple of. There are a couple of things going on in the food cart world that are Brett would know more about than I would. Mm. There are certain there are certain secrets. there are certain secrets. Um, there are um, uh, there's one there's one story. We don't have to uh, use names. You can no, just but, talk about but I mean it's a it's easy to find the story and it's it's been in the Willamette Week slash <laughs> Portland Mercury. Um, <laughs> and it's it's been going on for a few years. Um, hey, Matt Davis, it's Come on uh, the show. it's 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 a it's a long drawn out drama. 
Uh, but then there's also some underlying, um, you know, under the covers types of drama that's occurred. Um, uh, more, you know, the question of um, uh, accusation versus, you know, I was here first. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. And it's like. It's like junior high. Yeah, it is. It, it's Portland. It's like saying Portland was the first to build the first brick building. Come on. Brick, you know, my house is from 1890s. It was old. It was it was young when buildings in the East Coast were old. <laughs> so to say that you were the first to ever do the anything in Portland, I mean, I don't want to be mean to anybody, but sometimes it smacks of that. It's, Get over it. It's, you know, a little bit of that. But no, that, that's about the extent I know. Right. Um, you know, That's the only one I know I about. I don't too. know if there's truly any... Meanness or mm-hmm. no. or um, Generally real loving, anger. happy, and flowers. Um, I want to hear about kittens. this real world thing that's going on over there. Oh, oh yeah. on our yeah. lot. Yeah, in your lot. My lot could definitely, my definitely could definitely pose as a backdrop for a real world esque. <laughs> Big cool drama. real world though, not like one of the lame. Ones. No, no, we're talking. We're talking like the the L A one with. I don't know, San Francisco one. P- San Francisco. Puck and Pedro. Yeah, San Francisco is oh, yeah, the last one. We have some serious Puck and Pedro stuff going F1, on right now. F1, F2, F3. F1, F2. I am now Dr. Freaking Normal, baby. Whoa. F1. Oh, hi. Hey. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? F2. I'm just, you know. Hello. Hello. Oh, Ooh. F3. Now it's all of us. I can take the sunglasses off for yeah. that. So, real world San Francisco with real Puck world and San Pedro. Yeah, that well. was the last good one, I think. Although I haven't watched, I, I've seen like I haven't seen since like Chicago. Well, there's a drunk girl on the current one. I don't have cable. There's always a drunk which is not always. apparently I'm not supposed to say that, but mind. there's always a drunk girl. But yeah. yeah, no, I don't have cable, so I don't. Know. You don't have Comcast. I don't. Have, sh- Whoa. Comcast definitely um, not a sponsor. Hold on. <laughs> Comcast is fantastic. <laughs> I believe that our show plays on Comcast cable. Oh, okay. Um, so it's Comcastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm away from that. It's not a sponsor, but we. I'm not sure what. I don't have cable. I don't I know. know these things. Me neither. When I watch, if I want to watch TV, Hulu. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or because I already have Netflix. Netflix has the streaming mm-hmm. to your TV thing. So mostly Boxy. the DVDs that come to our house are for Boxy. my kid. And the live streams, or the, not live stream, but the streaming stuff is for me. Yeah. Kind of how it works. Dexter, awesome. Hello. Californication. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. My favorite show. True Blood. True Blood, awesome. Hung. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Californication. Californication. I'm waiting for the, see, Have they you had, seen, did you see season one? Yeah. Season one, yes. And that was so, on the stream. And now I'm waiting for the next season. To come no, season to two come is out. great. Season two is so like I cried in like eleven of twelve episodes. Yes, <laughs> I'm waiting season for two season two because they just doing that on DVD and it's about to come out. It's like moments from coming out. New favorite Nurse Jackie. Yeah. What is oh, Nurse Jackie? Oh my word! It's on Showtime. Mm-hmm. It's brilliant. So what's it about? It's the, Edie Falco. The stuff is going on over there. Uh, and <laughs> oh, Anna wants to hear the gossip. And Cartopia. Yes. Is that Cartopia. what your pod is card is yeah. called? Cartopia. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, Cartopia. Ba, ba, ba. Cartopia. How many pods are in Portland? You're going to count well, Rogers? Yeah. Okay. So we got 12th and Hawthorne. We got uh, third, fourth and Hall. We got fifth and Stark. We got third and Washington. We got 10th and Alder. I would actually extend up to, we have ninth and Alder, then I'd extend up to 10th and Alder because it has more than six cards. Um, fourth and College. Got that. I said the 4th and Hall, but 4th oh, yeah. and Hall. 13th and Lexington? 13th and Lexington, because that's more than three cards. Oh, it's like five. Five, yeah, more than three. Have you never been to 13th and Lexington? Which one's that's that's where Garden State, uh, baby. Garden State is. Oh, no, I've never been to that. <gasps> so, but then... Kevin comes by all the time. Blasphemy! Yeah. Kevin is constantly coming to Dude, me. Dude, you need like, to go. Please come, please come. So it's seven pods. Actually, it's not like, please come, but he's always... You like, need you to go come. to Garden what State. What about over on MLK that we saw just the other day? There was like six of them. Fish and chips, Mecca. I think what? they also sell some T-shirts. Fish. Across from the Bank of America. Mm. There. Is that food cart pop that sells T-shirts? <laughs> yes. yes. I'm not really. That's sure. kind of freaky. I've heard I've heard like rumors that one of the new cart pods might have a 
a, a an adult reading material. I, mean, I think there might be some cigarettes, cart. wholesale cigarettes. Yes. Oh. Available yeah. So there's well. a f- there's a wow. pod up uh, in northeast Portland, up by um, the Psycho Safeway, and Psycho um, Safeway. And uh, it's got, uh, yeah, it's got some good stuff. But, you know, North Portland, um, up off Mississippi and up off Williams, are opening up two um, cart pods. One is on Mississippi and Skidmore, 10 carts. I understand the uh, owners of the lot have received 100 plus um, uh, uh, applications. applications for carts. I know of two or three. I know of four specific carts who are going to go in there: Nuevo Mexico, um, Sugar Cube reinvented, um, Patty's Wagon, which will be a barbecue place, and then Vittles, which will be a barbecue place. Um, hey, Dr. Normal, daytime. what's up with the balloons? They're going to be no. I understand they're going to be day and nighttime. So let me ask a couple questions: How many carts do you need to qualify to be called a pod? I would say more than three. Three, three or, or more. Four. Okay. Yeah. So three or more is a pod. I'd even say more than two, but I'd say three or more. Yeah, yeah. Three or four. And do you think that having a, gr- a pod pulls more people in? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember do it when I was like 20 and I worked at this little, I worked at a design firm and just down the street there was Shelly's Hunkin' Huge Burritos and that was the only thing. You could go there or you could go to the pasta place, but it was not a food cart. It was a, it was actually a pasta store that did lunchtime food. By where the India house is now? Um, no, it's still there. I'm just not. It's just a pasta on 18th or 19th or 18th and 19th Overton, Northwest Portland. Oh, in Northwest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, Northwest. No, no, about, yeah. Um, I used to work on 18th and Overton, and so I think it was 19th and Overton where the pasta place was, and Shelley's was on 18th. Yeah, Shelley franchised before oh, God. anybody knew Everywhere. really what she had. Ten cards. I'm one sorry, time. honkin' huge understatement. Understatement. Three of the us small could get the thing, was and more than you could eat. And oh, this was before there were smalls. It was yeah. like this is the size of yeah. it. You get this, you cut yeah. it up, and then I think the second card I ever ate at was a hot dog guy, right across the street from Pioneer Square, mm-hmm. and it was not even a cart. I mean, it was like a pushy thing. David. Yeah. Is it David with yeah. the New York style? I think so. There's oh, still a guy man. down there that's been there for a while. Oh, you his know, hot not, dogs. Not pirate dogs, but... No, um, no, no. That was, it pirate was, dogs is new, but... No, that yeah. was not it. it. Amazing, amazing hot dogs. And I'm hot dog picky. And you know, like, Tito's Burritos has been... been Tito's Burritos. Uh, been around for years down there in Washington. Um, Zebus um, on 9th and Alder has been around for at least all five the full years. Moon people, all the full moon stuff. Yeah. So let me ask you and Anna, while I have you both here, would you guys rather get food from a food cart or go to a restaurant? Or is it a completely different, like, apples and oranges kind of deal? It, it, it's apples and oranges. Um, there are two yeah. different, there are choices there. Um, you know, if if it's Saturday for lunch, food cart. Yeah. You know, if it's Tuesday night for dinner, that might be more of the experience where we just want to sit and relax yeah. and not necessarily relax in our own home. Maybe have a bottle of wine and, then, you know, three courses. Um, but yeah, there are times when you choose um, to go one or the other. But um, again, there's not a. There are a million pla- There are th- th- hundred places to go for lunch, yeah. food carts. Not that many places to go for dinner. No, and that's so, interesting. What, um, what made you, Greg, decide to do the late night food cart deal? It just like it was part of my marketing idea. Mm-hmm. It was like this is who I'm marketing to. I'm marketing to people who are out at. Three o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. You know, my when Mike started Potato Champion, he sat there in that lot by himself at night from, you know, 12 to 3, alone in his cart for the first six months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really getting the name out there and building that sort of brand. And and by the time I showed up, he had really built that thing into what it is. Yeah. Built, he had built our, he would really turned our little, you know, lot into what it is, which is, you know. How many people are in that pod? How many carts are in that pod? Seven, I think. Mm-hmm. I think there are seven of us. Mm-hmm. And there's the taqueria. There's the potatoes. There's, there's, there's you. There's crepery, the grapes. Pasta. Barbecue, and then the oh, the barbecue. The barbecue. The, the, the Bubba Bernies, whatever it is. The yeah. jambalaya and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I think last time we were there, that's what Doctor Normal had for dinner: jambalaya and shrimp. Yeah. It's so hard not to go to that that pod and get 
one of each. Yeah. You know. Not we, to go to every cart. Yeah, we went there. I've we, seen Brett do it, actually. Yeah, we went there. <laughs> yeah. It I've shouldn't been be there. pie champion. It should be cart yeah. champion. Who can we eat the most from opening, the pod? I, I, we went there. I've been there when I've gotten a, a, a whole platter, whole box from uh, Q Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Um, I've picked up a pie or two. <laughs> and then I've also picked up a funnel of fries. Yeah. And that's usually when I'm headed out towards the porn store to visit to Wizard, visit Boots Wizard Boots and bring hey, him Wizard Boots. some goods. Hi, sweetie. How you um, doing? Wizard Boots likes getting a late night nosh mm-hmm. um, as he starts his shift. So, um, so this brings up um, another good. Oh, I hate turning my mic off. Yeah, this dude is all a, weird. I can see you in I, the screen, and you. It's kind of freaky. Okay, I'm just saying. Um, this brings up another good point. Is there rivalry between We're, pod no, no. locations? Oh, oh, over? no, we didn't do that. Yeah, I asked uh, the last res- rivalry. I, honestly, I haven't seen it. Like Broadway versus, or, you know, mm. PSU area versus Hawthorne. I I've gotten, like, uh, and, like, I, uh, at, at this point, like, I've really gotten to talk to almost everybody in, like, I, I really honestly go eat at food carts every day, and I usually go with a huge group of people now. But like, is that the what's the PDX cart group? PDX cart groupies. And uh, we have like I, I've never encountered any of that. I've never had anybody talk other than the one thing that Brett and I were talking about earlier. I've never heard any the sort secret of thing that you didn't really talk thing about. That, you know, the name that we shall not speak. <laughs> He must not it, be it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't benefit to 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 oh, bring up Yeah, if the it's... camera had been on me, I had a total great reaction. Yes. Yeah. It's the same way as it's there's no benefit in um writing any sort of a critical review. Yeah. Right. Uh, but in a sense negative review. Yeah. Right. You know? Have you ever State eaten at a food cart though that you were like, Oh it's crap? Um, you don't have to name names. No, um, I, I don't think I've had bad food. Yeah. Um, where I just like was like, oh, I'm not going to finish this. Have you but ever I've... eaten it? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say anything. Well, yes. <laughs> um, no, but but I have had food where initially um, it it was I was excited for it, mm-hmm. and it was just like mm, it was bland, or it was mm. you know, but. Let the consumer decide that. Not not me as as a writer of a, a website com. that says <laughs> oh, dude, plug it. Plug it, plug it Portland. Portland. Dot com. Because, I see it right there. Because we have we, we you know we have poll. We have we have cred and people listen to what we say. And so you're not trying well, to be food critics. No. 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 But no. Because there's this one restaurant, well known in Portland. I am actually not going to name names. There's this restaurant, well known in Portland, um, fancy pants restaurant that I was excited to go to because being a mom and staying at home. And uh, it was years ago. Doctor Normal and I were going out for a nice dinner. Uh, ate there. Got really, really, incredibly sick afterwards, and declared, "Oh, never going there again, mm-hmm. ever, ever. Never been there again." Mm-hmm. We've all had those experiences. Yeah, and yes. I was just like, God, everyone raves about this place. I spent an entire night uh, throwing up because I ate there. So the I, I haven't had that experience. With <laughs> Doctor, I haven't in had. I haven't gotten sick off a food cart. Um, I've never gotten. This but, is not a food cart. This is no. a fancy restaurant. Yeah. But but again, I think that the you know it's in food the White and Kennedy area. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Doctor Normal, I'm so good not to say the name. It's in the Pearl. <laughs> There's a color it's and the maybe pearl. a time. Uh, yeah, that's that's not the color. That's <laughs> color red, right? Yeah. Red, definitely red. Yes, yeah. it's a color and a time. Uh, uh, and I got um, really really sick. <laughs> I was pissed off. Okay, so you know he was hoping to get laid that night. I spent the night puking. It was great. Instead, I was holding my ass, running to the bathroom, going, "Oh Jesus!" Yeah, his stomach's a little After stronger. Hours. Hours. <laughs> yeah, so there was this oh, one exactly normal. a date night. <laughs> there was this one time at Boy Scout oh, Jamboree. Sure. Oh, with your flu? Unless you're in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we talking about the German people now? Because hey. we can speak to the... Hey. I can't speak to the German people, but he can speak to the German people. <laughs> so In um, German. For all Brett the, speaks German, It was right? just a really he dirty joke. German I didn't people. mean to offend the entire population <laughs> <laughs> in Germany. So, <laughs> okay, we've... So I for like, the, for I like the cartopreneurs who are out there. Cartopreneurs, cartopreneurs is that the word? Yes. yes. Um, nice. There are some, some requests that uh, we have from... Uh, 
food cart land. Okay, more soup. Um, yes, more soup. More soup. We, we need more great. grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. We need more grilled cheese. Another we burrito need cart cheese downtown. <laughs> and and uh, no, Thai. we need Spanish tapas. Oh my mm. God, we need tapas. Um, tapas. I would love to see. Um, I, 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 <laughs> Greg, I, I you not like tapas? Well, well, no, I work in a food cart. I, 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 you're talking I, about an eight I by know. sixteen foot I, box here. I would Does love, it matter? I, I was really, I <laughs> oh, was really I got happy it. for Rick's Wild Seafood when they opened. They're doing, they're mm, doing fish and yeah. chips at mm-hmm. a level that you rarely will even find in a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, so well, I may love know to someone see over there that really impressed me with with fresh fish. I would love to yeah. see a sushi cart. I don't know if you could do it. I'm not but sure, but I mean, the refrigeration required know, but, but a lot. Mongolian grill cart. I've got it. Mongolian no. grill. No, I've got it. Funny man. <laughs> Doctor Normal's paella cart. <laughs> you could serve deep fried paella. I could do paella. <laughs> hey, I'll shoot you some filling. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, paella, paella pie. Filling, and you can paella do a paella pie. pie. <laughs> Don't, laugh. Know, don't mess for, with Dr. Normal. With he does boy. make an amazing There's paella. There's all kinds of That's stuff. Right. Where, um, for the longest time, I've been actually craving sandwiches. Mm. Really well-made sandwiches. sandwiches. Like, and you know what? Just this past week, or two weeks ago, Addie's Sandwiches opened up. And mm-hmm. man, great sandwiches. Yeah. Really? On the cover what what, what makes a great sandwich for you? Um, uh, artisan bread. Really mm-hmm. good, uh, good, good ciabatta or even... You know, a good down home bread. You know, it doesn't I'm not a ciabatta person, but I like a really good sourdough. Like a rustic bread. Oh, and then, yeah. You know, great ingredients. It doesn't have to be a giant pastrami sandwich. It mm, can be just a pastrami. couple of couple of layers of thinly sliced, um, you know, really well made pas- uh, roast beef with some mm-hmm. lettuce or mm-hmm. some romaine, a, a tomato, um, aioli, and a piece of cheese. But just it's about the artisanship. I can make myself a great sandwich, yeah. But usually, when somebody makes it when for me, work. it's better. Yeah. Um, and There's something you know, magic and special and it, about someone giving you It doesn't need to be burger. I mean, I eat too many burgers. But. And if bunk is any, I don't eat burgers. If bunk is any, you know, standard by which to judge by it. There is a line forty people deep yep. from eleven o'clock in the afternoon yep. to three o'clock every Cause, you know day. Because it's that idea of mm. what do what does. So what do most people downtown eat for lunch? They go down to the deli in the building they work in, mm-hmm. and they grab the burger or the chicken fingers or so, the the flavorless Caesar salad. So I, I, so that's, I wanna, that's all that's really available. Or they Dr. go across Norman the street. Dr. wants to, to talk oh, there you about go. A plug. another yeah. person who doesn't sponsor us, yes. but Garden State. Yeah, I mean, I I gotta say, um, oh my God, our, our Kevin State. drops it. Yeah, our, our oh. neighbors at Garden State here in the yeah. neighborhood, um, chickpeas. Have you ever had anything sandwich, from Garden State that wasn't just not not just good but amazing? Just shout out to them. They're not sponsors, but hey, next time I'm at the cart, we can hook something up. Those hey. little <laughs> what are the rosemary? You know what I'm talking the about, potatoes, Brett? The, the, the rosemary potato yeah. dumpling. I don't. Know. There's a name for them, but I can never remember. Orange, when the I don't know. They're amazing. Were you trying to read the menu, Greg? <laughs> I'm a curious guy. <laughs> Greg was trying to read the menu. Their food is phenomenal. They had this uh, cold cut sandwich. I I, I can't. I'm I'm gonna salivate. I haven't anyway. eaten dinner yet. So. So I think the next evolution of the food carts is the food cart delivery services. Um, in winter. Um, How do you think it's gonna and, work in? Um, yeah, well, no, fork and spoon launched, and they were doing a little bit. Um, and then now we have pedal power, and we have a couple others that I've heard in the wings, but. Uh, in the same way we talked before we even started the show tonight of like Cosmo. dot mm-hmm. com and how brilliant that was. By I think it was years before ago. we started the show. You know, the idea of if I'm, you know, I just don't want to leave the house tonight. But you know what? I really need a Whiffies. Mm-hmm. Or I really, it's you know, oh, it's, it's coming. coming. Oh yeah, I already. I'm in the works right now. So. Secret. But again, you you know, you're also talking about you know, again, there's, not a, there's, <laughs> no, not, there's a no night, you know, there's not a no one watching this. We don't we don't have an audience. It's fair, cool. but, you know, Actually, like, oh, uh, truth truth be told, uh, I think everyone cleared out the chat room. We made them way hungry, and they're like, no, no, I'm not joking. We had several viewers, and then it's it's bang. Friday night. I'm totally open. Yes. I'm wondering yes. if my babysitter is watching for some reason, and you want to come over here. I totally need to go get some food. Maybe I'm thinking going to Gino's. Could you put my kid to bed for me? See you later. She's not watching. We're gonna go. Yeah. 
Like if you're going to Gina's, <laughs> if they're open. If they're open. You gotta go. Hey, uh, Dr. Normal, it all depends you put on the child to bed? <laughs> it all depends on when Brett we wrap this and, up. And, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Get a bottle of, we'll get a po- bottle of Papa Dolce. I keep looking at my Papa bracelet Chels- like it's Papa a Chels- watch. Or it's not. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, wait, no. No, all I right, know nice. nothing. I have no information. Is that a locket to you? It is. There you go. Where's my, which camera should I, I... <laughs> Oh, look at look at that one. Is it upside down? Sorry. Right. Yeah. All right. And is there a photo in there? No, I haven't of, put a photo in there yet, but it's my special customs so change I'll, of life. I'll, send you, I'll send you one of my headshots. Oh, good. I'm going to put a picture of Brett in there. It's going to be cute. Yes, it's my special I'll fancy pants of change of life pocket. <laughs> oh, we're going to have Brett on one side, lemon pie on the other side, and I will be <laughs> happy woman. All right. I think we have to say goodnight. Which is good for you, because you guys can head over to Gino's, who's not a sponsor, so we can't... Well, <laughs> I'd like to thank our host for, like, one of the best martinis I've had in a very oh, long yeah. time. And a wonderful Thank piece you. of pie as well. Oh, my and goodness. So much. Yay, me. Pie, good drinks. Yeah. And, uh... Good time. Yeah. Good times. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. For <laughs> balloons! <laughs> thank you, everyone, for joining us. Have a fantastic couple week. A week! A week! A week. And, uh, and we'll see you next week for CreateCon. Whiffies.com. Yeah, yeah Whiffies.com. PortlandFoodCarts.com. Food Carts. Portland. Food Carts. Food, mm, don't listen to Cammy. Food Carts. Nothing. Food Carts. Portland.com. Good night, everybody. Good night. We'll be back.